Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. For those of you who like iconic TV, you might know about a TV show from the 1980s which was for children. It was called Grange Hill. Grange Hill was a school, of course it didn't exist in reality, but it was a school uh, supposedly uh, in London somewhere, and it depicted the lives of the students and the teachers. It helped children of that generation to avoid things like drugs. In fact, they even had a hit record in the 1980s called Just Say No. And if I remember correctly, Just Say No was performed at the White House in America. Well, the headmistress of Grange Hill, I know that in modern English, we don't usually separate men and women anymore. Everyone is an actor rather than actor and actress. And headmaster and headmistress, I think now are just called the principal. Or perhaps they're known as just simply as headmaster, but I don't think headmistress is used so much. Anyway, the actress who played the headmistress, or maybe I should say the actor who played the headmaster, her name was Gwyneth Powell. Her character's name was Mrs. McCluskey, and she wasn't the kind of person that you would like to get on the wrong side of. That's an expression in English. To get on the wrong side of someone means to do something to upset them. I'm telling you all of this because, unfortunately, she's passed away. She didn't only appear in Grange Hill. She appeared in many other TV shows as well, such as Heartbeat, A Touch of Frost, Holby City, and the Channel 4 drama Man Down. Her agent, Matthew Lacey, said that Powell had died of complications following a major operation. He said she passed away peacefully with her husband, who is another actor, Alan Leith, and niece at her bedside last Thursday. He went on to say that Gwyneth will be greatly missed by her adoring family and friends, along with her many fans from multiple TV appearances. Ironically, she actually trained as a teacher before she joined uh, theatre in the 1960s. That was a little bit strange, because her famous role, of course, was as the headmistress in Grange Hill. Grange Hill actually ran for many, many years, so I'm sure you'll find it on YouTube. She said uh, about Grange Hill that uh, she'd bought a house and had no way of paying the first month's mortgage, and she even had to um, uh, suffer a lot because she had no money. This was her giving an interview in the Grange Hill podcast, which is called Sausage on a Fork. Um, and then she said she got her first acting role in a TV show called The Guardians, and her and her family were once again secure. The Grange Hill podcast Sausage on a Fork is probably very, very popular because people of my generation loved Grange Hill and we we kind of go looking for the actors who were in Grange Hill to see if they're still around because they were parts of our lives before the internet came, of course. 
Anyway, this woman, Gwyneth Powell, she said in that podcast her career accelerated after getting into Grange Hill about life in an inner-city London comprehensive school. Mrs. McCluskey was written as, how can I say, her role was written as a very old lady with pearls and jackets, but she was actually quite young, so she was able to persuade them to make her role much more mm, general without having that typical austere English look. She said that um, she was quite fashion conscious and chic uh, and it, w it actually encouraged a lot of younger teachers to dress differently and not to be afraid to express themselves in modern England. You see, teaching here has always been a little bit conservative and many women, for example, especially up until the 1950s and 60s, didn't even feel that they could get married because they would have been judged otherwise. Mrs. McCluskey uh, became very famous and Gwyneth Powell said her period coincided with the Thatcher years. So Mrs. McCluskey became memorable because we had a prime minister like that. And of course, uh, seeing women in any position of authority uh, was very, very difficult. Um, our TV, even up until the 1980s, still showed men as being the people who controlled everything. So she was in that role of Grange Hill headmistress for 11 series before asking to be written out. She said it was the first series that dealt with real problems in a real way without being patronizing. She went on to say, I'm not saying that it changed society, but maybe it helped a lot of young people. Yeah, I would say it definitely did. It kind of gave us hope. But for those of us who weren't living in London, it also showed us the reality of what London life was like for children. They said, this is the BBC, they said her famous portrayal of Mrs. McCluskey is one that will be fondly remembered by all those who grew up watching Grange Hill. Our thoughts are with her family and friends at this sad time. And apparently they're going to make a movie about Grange Hill. Which is quite interesting, isn't it? Well, anyway, that's the story of Mrs. McCluskey. But, you know, headmasters in those days, in the 1980s, were generally quite frightening. I remember my headmaster at school when I was 13 or 14. He used to wear a long black cape. And he just used to appear from nowhere to catch us doing things wrong. He looked more like a vampire, to be honest, with that cape. But we gave him the nickname Batman, because he just seemed to appear from nowhere. He could step out of cupboards, he could march into classes. He was generally quite a frightening character, not only for us, but also for the teachers. It wouldn't be the first time that I saw him walking into a class, while the class was going on, which frightened absolutely everybody sitting there. But we don't really have characters like that anymore. Nobody seems to feel any fear, and perhaps that's part of our problem. Well, there we are. That's uh, the life of Gwyneth Powell, who died age 76. And by the way, Gwyneth Powell would be a very, very Welsh name here. The name Gwyneth is Welsh in itself, and so is Powell. So uh, even though she's from Manchester, I'm guessing her parents came from, uh, came from Wales, or maybe it's even a false acting name that she's chosen. But uh, yeah, Gwyneth Powell. There we are. See you. Bye.